Hi, I am Muskan Modgil and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been quite a while since I last uploaded a YouTube video and it's because the last few weeks have been a total roller coaster. It's the exam season going on for most of us and my second year veterinary examinations, the final examinations are supposed to happen online, both the practicals as well as the theory exam. Do leave a comment down below and let me know how are your exams being conducted by your university. So um, for our practicals, they have they send us a Google form and we have to solve the MCQs, the short answers and uh, the spotting, etc. So we get one hour to solve all the questions and each subject is conducting two uh, practical examinations, paper one and paper two. The syllabus has been divided accordingly and it's been really hectic. Like we have examinations every day without fail. On top of that, one of our close relatives got married last week and yes, during my exams. So it was like morning 9 to 10, I was giving my exams and then I uh, rushed to the wedding hall on the same day and it was quite an experience. And my theory examinations are beginning on 17th of this month. So we have to write the exams within one and a half hour for one paper and then we have to scan it then upload it on the college's official ID. That was all about the life update and now let's quickly dive into the video. In this video we'll be talking about the Indian job opportunities that you can have in the veterinary field. So without any further delay let's begin. <music> Science is really a vast and rewarding field. So once you get completed with your studies, there are so many job opportunities that will open up for you. In this video, we'll be talking about the Indian job opportunities that you can go for after completing your veterinary science degree. Now, for some of these jobs, just your bachelor's degree is sufficient, but some requires master's or even higher PhD level studies. Along with this, I'll also be providing you the estimated rough salaries for each of these professions. However, they can vary according to your experience, your interest and the state or the location that you are currently in. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, veterinary is truly a very rewarding field. You not only get to work with the animals, but as the concept of One Health is increasing, there is a lot of human involvement and a lot of human interaction in veterinary field as well. Even though it's a very rewarding field and the position and power that it gives you is very satisfying for some people, people also attach a certain monetary value to the profession that you choose, which is debatable but at the same time necessary in this world. So let's talk about the various sectors of employment. The major agencies where you can find a job as a veterinarian is the state government, the centralized sectors, the private sectors and even self-employment. Talking about the government agencies, let's first talk about State Livestock Development Board. In these development boards, you can get positions such as Director General, Deputy Director, Veterinary Surgeon, etc. The monthly salary may change as per the location, seniority and experience. However, the rough estimate is somewhere between 24,000 to 70,000. This comes veterinary officer. Now to become a veterinary officer, you'll have to appear in the state public service commission exam. And if you wish to work in the central government, that can be done through UPSC exam, which is the union public service commission. In the exam pattern, you have to take veterinary science as the optional subject. After you give the required exams and get selected, you'll become a veterinary officer, which are class one gazetted officers and their salary may range anywhere between 56,000 to 2.5 lakhs. Next comes the state veterinary surgeons. As a government veterinary surgeon, you can work in the government district hospitals, polyclinics, dispensaries, livestock farms, animal disease diagnostic labs, etc. The salary of a veterinary surgeon is estimated to be around 50,000 to 80,000 and it may increase with experience. Another career that you can opt for is in the Remount Veterinary Corps, which is the Indian Army. The selection occurs through Service Selection Board, the SSB. It is a two-stage testing procedure followed by group test, psychological test and personal interview. Now, uh, while working in the Indian Army, veterinarians are responsible for breeding, rearing and training all the animals that will be used in the Army. While working in the Remount Veterinary Corps, the rank or the position that you hold is that of a Captain to Lieutenant Journal. And the salary is starting from 61,300 plus allowances and other benefits. Next comes the teaching profession. 
as a veterinary assistant professor you may work both in veterinary as well as agricultural colleges the prospects may include teaching research as well as the extension work the salary of an assistant professor may range anywhere from 90000 in the beginning up to 5 to 8 lakhs per month however to become an assistant professor the individual must have completed their masters and phd after bbsc it comes the food safety officers it is really a vast field and the salaries may range from 34000 up to 98000 per month and the pay scale increases with service now let's talk about another sector that is the research sector after completing your phd one may go for research as a scientist in the central organizations namely the icar which is the indian council for agricultural research ivri which is the indian veterinary research institute ndri national dairy research institute fao and even who one can get the post like senior scientist assistant director general dg icar animal husbandry commissioner etc one will have to appear for the agricultural research services that is the ars exam the rough salary ranges anywhere from 4 to 20 lakhs per month and it is filled with innumerable growth aspects and opportunity one can also appear in the csat exam if you are interested in going for the indian forest service next comes the private sector under private sector you can work for vaccines pharmaceuticals poultry or meat industry dairy industry animal nutrition for working in a private sector you must have completed your bachelor's degree that is bbsc people also go for mba once they have completed their bachelor's so that they get a more in depth outlook of the business management one can also complete their masters in veterinary science and later on go for an mba course Other than that, you can also work as a veterinary doctor in private clinics, or you can even open your own hospital. Now, the salary in private sector may widely differ according to the company, experience, your location, but it is estimated to start from fifty thousand to even ten to twelve lakhs per month. It totally depends on your vigor, your interest, and your hard work. I repeat veterinary is a really rewarding sector if you are ready to work hard for it and if you have the zeal and interest in you. Next comes owning your own business or entrepreneurship. A few examples include having a poultry, dairy, pig, rabbit, goat or a sheep farm. One can also have a product selling business and the income totally depends on your business success and the vigor of your idea. Thank you so much for watching this was all for the video guys i apologize in case any sector was unintentionally left out because veterinary in itself is a huge field with endless opportunities even the income may differ and this was just a rough estimate from my side if you like my content please make sure to subscribe to my channel like and comment down below thank you so much